Hey, hey, welcome to the daily with your girl Drea Love for Monday, July 22nd, 2019. I'm really grateful that you guys decided to join me, check in with spirits, see what God's trying to tell us for the day. We are going to check in with the Caroline Miss uh, Archetype cards today. And if you guys are interested in finding out more about archetypes, you guys can check out my website. Uh, at drealove.com under learning. Um, these are like a whole thing. If you haven't checked, if you haven't seen one of my readings before, on um, on archetypes, um, but it's like a whole understanding of the different types of of uh, character types that we have, and we all share some that everybody has. But then, other than that, there's like a whole amount that we all have. So, yeah, I would recommend looking into the Caroline Miss deck. And if you guys are interested in anything more than just like a reading like this, you guys are always welcome to to book with me online at DreaLove.com. I do customized appointments. So, archetype cards. So we pulled three. So we pulled the um, the Alchemist, and um, we'll start there. And so the alchemist is transformation of base motives, goals into golden wisdom. The shadow attribute is misuse of power and knowledge through spiritual practice. So um, a lot of us have, um, actually here, let me finish reading before I start talking. Don't let me get ahead of myself. Okay. So um, wizard, magician, scientist, and inventor. So in its highest manifest manifestation seeks complete spiritual transformation. All these archetypes share the trait of converting matter in some form of altered and enhanced expression. Wizard or and magician produce results outside the ordinary rules of life using supernatural powers and entertainment respectively. The shadow alchemist appears um, mis, uh, in the misuse of power and knowledge through seduction and trickery. And um, the shadow wizard manifests either using um, ingenuity for criminal or unethical purpose or uh, feelings of superiority. So whatever your strengths are with regards to this, if you guys have a little bit of the alchemist, I know I have a lot of the alchemist. I'm really kind of like an, in, well, for me in my life, I feel like I'm a little bit of an energy magician. Um, but don't use that against people. Use it for good. Um, try to use your power. Use your understanding of energy and how things work and how people work. And use them to produce results that are positive. Don't be a jerk. Like, don't use them. Like, don't do mean things to people. Do kind things to people. Use them for um, for good, for better. Okay, so, um, and don't misuse your power. Um, don't misuse your power. Yeah. Okay, the next card. We pulled the God and Goddess card, which I found quite interesting because normally, I mean, you wouldn't necessarily pull them together. We're going to start with the God card. So the light attributes for this are benevolence and compassion, recognizing the eternal force within yourself and others. And also the shadow attributes are despotism and cruelty, using power to control people. So that's the God in us and our God-like capability. You guys know we each have a God gene in us. So, But this is about the gods and um, yeah, this is about being God-like. Okay, so hero Adonis. So the ultimate in male dominance in the positive aspect, benevolent and compassionate, the shadow god manifests as a dictator or a despo, or uses physical attractiveness to get what he wants without returning love. So very manipulative. And look for a lifelong sense of great power, either use selfishly or selflessly for a god type of person. So again, these are polarities, guys, that we have to we have to balance. So this is I would I would uh, put this to the divine masculine just a little bit. I would say that it's a bit like that. Um, but I would say that don't use your, your, your maleness, your, um, your, um, masculinity in a way that is going to hurt people or going to be manipulative without returning love, you know, make sure that you have a balance in terms of knowing when to respect and how to respect and what that may look like for you. And don't use things to your advantage and to uh, hurt others. You know, we all, again, we've got a special opportunity to see things in our own light, in our own way, but don't use it against people, guys. Next one is goddess. And and that's light attribute is in the feminine expressed through wisdom, nature, life force, and sensuality. And the shadow attribute would be exploitation in the female nature and form. Okay, so the goddess is the diva. So embodies wisdom, physical guidance, um, grace, athletic prowess, and sensuality. So the shadow goddess manifests as extreme self-indulgence and is seen in movie stars and fashion models. Looking, uh, look for lifelong associations with the image of a personality in a particular goddess like Athena or Minerva. 
like the able-bodied warrior woman, um, the, or like the power behind the throne, uh, Venus, the beauty and sensuality, Isis or Durga in motherhood, or Oshun from East African, you are the goddess pleasure of love and beauty, or Astarte, the fertility and sensual love, or Kuan Yin, Chinese embodiment of compassion. So in looking at the goddess energy, again, guys, these are balances between the gods and goddess. And so we've got this wisdom-like thing in, in the women, in the divine feminine, and uh, this div this goddess this sensuality prowess now use this to uh, use this in the right way I mean you don't want to hurt people you want to use this to express yourself but also this is not all you have and not all you are um, in terms of phys the physicality because if the polarity is wrong then you are just completely attaching to your physicality and that's become your thing and you have to realize there's a polarity between that so um, as they were saying too, looking to the different goddess um, energies for or a balance in these and you know just like Kuan Yin and Venus or Isis you know these were all different balances of different types of women um, or female energies and um, there, there's um, you don't just want to be straight one type you want to be able to flow with the nature of who you are and what it is and um, allow yourself to be expressive in many forms and just don't don't um, narrow yourself down um, again God goddess and alchemists don't use these against people and make sure and balance these polarities within yourself and again if you guys are interested in more information about Caroline Miss and archetype cards you guys are always welcome to check my website out adrealove.com you can make appointments there you can get more about Caroline Miss in the archetypes under resources and learning and um, all my resources there blog um, and everything is there as well and I just encourage you guys to like comment share and subscribe thank you guys so much as always for hanging with me make it a beautiful Beautiful day in and with love. It's a girl. Great love.